how do you be delicious people we're here today to play another episode of dangerous fellows so like recently if you guys um kind of just got now into this because i waited a while since the last like part of this or whatever because ultimately other things kind of uh working out or there's a lot of other series and stuff like that um another zombie game kind of very much done with a very uh novel game like appeal so uh, let's appeal our way back into this and see what ultimately this is all about. Or what it continues to ultimately continue to be. Uh, welcome to another day for us. Good luck. Okay, get it for free. Alright. Episode 4. Okay, here we are. So this is the classroom we'll be laying, uh, staying and laying in. Unless you are the chairs and desks pushed back to make room in the middle. But it's more than enough for me. Because I'm not alone anymore in my life. I won't have to be afraid, or will I? Judy stands by me, patting my back to comfort me. You must have been so scared all by yourself. Yeah, it was such a scary experience. It wasn't that bad. I'm fine. Hey, I'm I'm your friend. You can tell me. Yeah, everything was too scary. It was all scary, Judy. It was all up in that scared, you know what I'm saying? It was all up in that scared. You don't have to keep it to yourself anymore. Judy, I'm so glad that I met you here. Otherwise, no one would give a crap. Me too. Look at you. Your face is covered in ash. <laughs> uh, Judy takes a small piece of fabric and wipes my cheek. You did a good job putting out the, that fire back there. I'm still in a little bit of a shock. I know, right? I mean, you would have thought there was a, a lighter... A lighter in there. It's weird none of us ever spotted it before. We would have definitely put it to use. I don't know. I think there's something shady about that whole lighter scenario. I didn't know that it would be that um, destructive when a lighter explodes. Yeah, it was a big explosion. It kind of doesn't make sense. Yeah, there's something b bizarre going on afoot. Hmm. It was too destructive for such a small lighter to explode. But I decided to leave her question unanswered as I didn't want to worry Judy. But hey, everything that's been happening doesn't make any sense e anyways. You'll write everything. She looks at me and smiles. I'm so happy to see her that I almost forget how exhausted I am. We spent some time catching up with each other. She told me how she's made it here. She also told me the names of people here I haven't met yet. I can't believe how peaceful this moment is. Bang. We are both alarmed by the sudden noise. The door slams open. Slam, uh, the door slams open? You would think the, the door just uh, rushes open, you would think? Uh, anyways. And it comes. Hey, you. Don't you know how to knock? We thought you were a zombie. We're going we're gonna to shoot you. Oh, knock my ass. This doesn't concern you. It's her I want. Yeah, what is it now, Dingle Fritz? She points at me with a nasty sneer. I need to talk to you. Why? Now, can't you do it tomorrow? Judy interrupts. She sounds annoyed, because why wouldn't she? <clears throat> it's okay, Judy. No, not with me. She's only doing this to bug you. 
do I always need to make someone in this place, or wait, do I always need to make someone in this place to speak for you? Or do you always need someone in this place to speak for you? Oh, okay. I get what she's saying now. I'm like, why am I so confused? It's like, oh yeah, because I didn't blah, blah, blah. Why can't you speak for yourself for once? I'll be fine, Judy. It'll be... Uh, it'll be just a minute. Oh, who says it'll only be a minute? Shut up, Scarlet. I want to make this woman a zombie. <laughs> to make her just go away. Uh, I'll come with you. No, that probably won't happen. Uh, you know I need to do this uh, by myself. Nah. Okay, fine. I followed Scarlet out to the hallway. So, what's the thing you want to talk about? Turning me into a zombie, probably? For your information, I'm not here to chit-chat with you. So don't think I'm here to make friends with you. Oh, I was... I was so hoping that you were going to be on my friends list. You know, my... 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 Fi my... Five... My favorite five, or whatever the... That freaking phone commercial where it's like, yeah, put them in your fave five or whatever. That freaking, I, I really want you to be my fave five, Scarlet. Yes, desperately. Uh, the classroom was, that was on fire. You know, we, you know, we, uh, what we kept there? A lighter? <laughs> I remember that someone told me about, uh, about storing food there. Right! Okay, so what about it? She gives me that nasty sneer again. Well, thanks to you and your little fire extinguisher, all of our food is gone. Wow, so in other words, because we had helped them... That had cost all of their food. Just... Are you for real? How is this my fault? I didn't have to save you or anything. She ignores and continues her nonsense. So in other words, every single thing is going to be the main character's fault with this girl. And every single time... Uh, if I helped out, she has to try to come up with some kind of thing that ultimately makes me look uh, crappy because that's what she has to do. That's her master plan to ultimately just go, oh, well, you're going to have to go out and find us food now. Um, there's a cafe on the first floor or cafeteria on the first floor. I think you should go there and bring back some food. Why don't you bring back some food? You're the one who has done jack crap nothing but argue with people. Why does it have to be me now? Obviously, she's trying everything to give me a hard time here. And plus, why wouldn't we all come down there in the cafeteria as a group? Is there something wrong with the cafeteria that I won't be aware of until I go down to the cafeteria? Because And then Scarlet is just going to play it off where it's like, I never told her to the cafeteria. Like, hey, maybe we should distrust her because, yeah, she just went down there all by herself. And, yeah, I bet that's, what's, that's what is going to happen out of all this. Obviously, she's trying everything to give me a hard time here. Because I'm hungry. Well, if you're hungry, why not go down there yourself? Like, again, we could send everybody down there and all get a bunch of food all at once. If everything is okay down there, is not everything okay down in that cafeteria? What? I know you're desperate to patch things up with me. Well, now is your chance. Really? This is going to be the one thing that's going to put me in good favor with her. Sure, 
I need to be in good favor with this person because it's going to be like the good favor that is going to come back to bite me. And yeah, this is going to go horribly awry. Um, Scarlet confronts me with a nasty smile of hers. I could have refused her, I could have, but then again, I'm just, like, I'm a glutton for wanting to be killed, evidently. I decided to just go do it and try to find my way down the stairs. I know I'm a, I'm, I'm being a complete idiot for complying with Scarlet, but maybe there is, like, a treasure trove of food that I could bring up. And then everybody will just be like, wow, she ended up bringing up all this food. Wow, I'm actually in her good graces now. I like her. But this isn't just for her. It's also for myself. Yeah, maybe I'm just going to pick out on. Maybe they have like a stock full of Slim Jims down there. And I'm just going to like, mmm, slap a dude Slim Jim. Oh, yeah. And I'm going to be macho manning it up right now. Uh, had I turned her down, she would have been more vicious to me anyways and it's already tough as it is just to keep safe from the zombies hopefully i have like an arsenal full of just weapons in my hand uh because i think we're gonna go into some zombie time jeez <laughs> it's so spooky in here it's all spook plus why are we doing this at nighttime shouldn't we do it during the day uh, I have no flashlight. I got no flashlight. I got no flashlight. Uh, good thing the sky's clear tonight and the moon shi shines. We have the moonlight. Um, should I have asked someone to come with me? No, because they'll probably end up, like, dead just like you will, and you're going to be zombified. But I don't want to give Scarlet anything to yell at me about. It's just... Maybe I should have asked someone before I left, Hey, what about that cafeteria? Is there anything uh, up with that? Maybe I should have asked my friend about it. I'll just go grab the food and get out of here as fast as I can. Because ultimately, yeah, there's something's gonna, gonna happen. The windows are carefully nailed with wood panels. The cold air through the broken windows makes the room even more chilly. Why is there broken room windows down here? And why is it that, like, that obviously feels like there's going to be a zombie coming up and down. There. Like, I've, won I've played so many Seven Days to Die that I'm, like, I'm always thinking about, like, how is there a way a zombie can get into this place? Because ultimately, I'm assuming that a zombie is going to come all up in here. And, uh, like, like I guess that's a good thing about Seven Days to Die, is it kind of makes everybody really think about what they can do to, to, uh, to really think of, like, oh, there's a broken window. A zombie's going to come through here. Oh, well, uh, a, like, there, you can kind of figure out all the entryways and how a zombie could get in somewhere. Um, so reasonably, you got to, like, easily and quickly figure something out um it kind of is getting me kind of interested to go and watch this show on uh hulu called freakish uh because ultimately i had seen that and it has the guy from walking dead who ultimately uh died at some point on that show uh, i kind of want to go into it now even though like when i started watching it uh it really like it really didn't seem like a great show and then when I heard about it, like, I didn't, like, from what I heard, it didn't seem like a good show from what I, like, heard from reviews. So, yeah, it was kind of, I, I was like, I don't know, but maybe I'll kind of just go into the show so I can just watch another zombie show. Even though it probably won't be a good quality show because it's, probably won't be. Uh, but anyways, I tiptoe my way into the cafeteria. Grrr, chicken! And all the other stuff that I said <laughs> before, because it's been a while. I told you there was going to be a zombie in this cafeteria. I told you so. Ah, I duck instantly and hold my breath. Let's bump up the music a little bit. Or, okay, not bump up the music. 
Told you there's going to be a zombie. I told you she was going to lead me to my death. Uh, what seems like something where it's like, oh, hey, yeah, like, this is going to work out for you. Come on. It's a good thing to do. No. It, they're probably going to lead you to your death. It's it's what happens uh, when you get a person that really does not like you or is a person that's just like, well, you're another mouth to feed, so you're going to die. Uh, like when a zombie apocalypse happens, you want to trust people. But then again, um, that trust really has to be earned before you really just go and just say like, hey, yeah, I guess I should just go down to this dark basement and hope there isn't any zombies that pop up while well, I'm going to go and, and try to, like, you know, fix something or, or like, go into this basement and try to fix something that isn't exactly fixed just to end up having a monster attack you and eat you and whatever. And, like, that was that person's master plan all along. I see a zombie lurking outside through one of the windows. It doesn't seem to notice I'm here. That doesn't mean anything. <laughs> that doesn't mean anything. Uh, I didn't accept them, or I didn't expect them to have uh, made through the gate. Also, there was a, so maybe maybe she was kind of didn't think any zombies would come this far because of the gate. Stupid decision, but again, uh, I looked around to make sure no one's inside. So is is these one of those zombies where if it's at nighttime, like if they can't see you, then you're okay. Kind of like the train to Busan, where uh, like the people were climbing on top of the like the very top uh, rung of the like train to kind of like scooch over while the zombies were like shifting around and whatever. Um, train to Busan. If you've never seen it, uh, there's a lot of uh, easy to go into apps that are absolutely free for you to see this movie. Um, I think ultimately people will see this movie if you haven't already and you'll be blown away by this film. Train to Busan. Um, train to and then Busan. B-U-S-A-N. It's a great zombie film. Uh, it's an overseas film. I heard there's going to be a sequel to this movie and I would assume probably... I would hope they're probably going to make a sequel because I thought it was pretty dang good. So anyways, I looked around to make sure no one's inside. But I always have, I guess I have to be the recommendation of, hey guys, if you've never seen this zombie movie before, because I've seen a billion of them at this point. Uh, no sign of zombies yet, but I can never be too sure. I think every time I do a zombie uh, project or I'm like, oh, hey, zombie. Hey, yeah, I'm going to recommend 12 different zombie movies. Um, I see a door a few steps ahead of me. It's not the door to the cafeteria, but there's a big pile of chairs and desks in front of you. I probably wouldn't recommend Freakish, but I guess I'll probably go into it and watch it just because, like... I don't know, I think there's there, there might be something there that I can have, like, that I can just have a different kind of quasi-zombie experience. Uh, probably they've done this to block off the zombies. But I need to walk by the door to get to the cafeteria. I contemplate for a bit, should I keep going? Okay, well, why not? Uh, I'm not too sure. Why should I? I'm going back. Uh, I don't think I'm going to go back because I think we're too far in now. Um, plus, realistically, if we die, we, I don't think the, the story is going to want us to die. <laughs> so, uh, I'm not sure. Why not? Yeah. Oh, well, why not? Yeah, we're going to keep going. Oh, well, why not? If we die, if we turn into a zombie, then I'll just, I'm coming after Charlotte. It's happening. I'm going to kill her with my bite of love. Um, they can't get in here. Uh, at All the doors seem to be secretly locked. And by the way, if there's a ton of zombies in here, 
and I go through this cafeteria and I get all this food and I come back, man, all of the guys and gals up there are going to just be like, oh my God, you're a Superman. Like you went in there, oh, well, Superwoman, because this, I think this main character is a woman. Um, if we go through and we freaking like get all this food for them and they're like, oh my God, this girl is Rambo because that place was like, heavily infected with zombies and she went in there like it was nothing and got all this food for us like i am gonna be like in a million points to the to the team unless scarlet hawks it off as a oh yeah well i got all this food for you and i and i did this and i'm like no i did it you stupid bitch. uh all the doors seemed to be secretly or securely locked um let me just get scarlet uh, what she wants. No, I'm gonna get what everybody wants. Uh, I want to get along with her. I can't stand her cold looks anymore. I lower my body to avoid being seen. And tiptoe through the hallway towards the cafeteria. Almost there, just a few more steps. What are you doing? What? <laughs> I covered my mouth with my hands not to scream. Well, obviously a zombie wouldn't ask me what am I doing. So, uh, Ethan? Oh, it's Nodding Guy. I don't know how long he has been here. <laughs> has he just been, like, stalking me, which is perfectly fine, but... Uh, yeah, here we go. We're gonna get a boatload of these going on with this guy. Why are you here? I'm just getting, uh, some food for the cafe from the cafeteria. For yourself? No, I was gonna get it for everybody. Like, dude, if I would've just came here for myself, risk not being aware of what's going on, I'll, like, I'm gonna get food for everybody. Like, I want to, like, really get some brownie points for everyone. Plus, I was getting food for Scarlet because her lazy bony A uh, didn't decide to want to come down here. Uh, yeah, not really. I don't want to say it's for Scarlet. It'd be like ratting her out. Uh, well, maybe I could just convincingly say it's mine and Scarlet because ultimately, like, uh, she was talking about she was hungry, and you're like, you know what? I am kind of too, so let's go down here and get some food. I've got some chips upstairs. Well, yeah, that's great and all, but... Like, but that cafeteria food... <laughs> that cafeteria food, though. And there's that bread you, you brought, Remember? Yeah, I remember, but you know what? I really have a hankering for terrible cafeteria food. That very, like, microwavable... Not, it's, a lot of times cafeteria food is better than that, but it depends where you go. Um, what? I thought there was no food left. Scarlet must have lied to me or ate all the food and frickin' just... Oh, that's right, I forgot. I felt so betrayed for for way the way Scarlet uh Scarlet's uh, done to me. You must be really hungry to have come down here by yourself at this time. But you know what I have the hankering from the cafeteria food, and then plus like since you're here now, Bat Boy, uh you can be my uh my lookout. Like, ultimately, I can keep heading to the cafeteria, and you could be, like, behind me, just kind of, like, bat in hand, just in case uh, uh, anything goes horribly awry. And plus, we can get a bunch more food, so we can all be fat and happy and and overweight for all the zombies to come in and eat us. Won't it be great? But it's too... <clears throat> excuse me. But it's too dangerous here. Let's go back upstairs. No, Ethan. Like, I really think that we should... <laughs> we gotta get this food. I think if we get all this food now, we're already here. Let's go, like, let's go and get this. Like, we'll see how much of a threat level this, this place is. 
Uh, if it seems like too overpowering, then we can come back with numbers. Sound like a good plan there, Ethan? Uh, we're gonna, uh, we're gonna have a meeting soon. Ethan waves at me and I follow him. Dang it. I was gonna get food for people. Cause I'm nice. I was gonna get food. We took, um, careful steps up the stairs. And plus, I feel like... Uh, I think we didn't clear any of these zombies out. There was already one zombie down there that I saw. Like, me going down there and me not getting anything, and me not clearing any zombies out, I think the zombie is going to come back and attack one of us. Uh, fortunately, the zombie outside the window seems to be gone by now. That's what you think. That's what you think. Even if it approaches to attack us, it would take him a... While to make its way through the barricade of chairs and desks. Again, that's what you think. <laughs> I would be amazing at, I think, zombie games. Like, real legitimate zombie survival games. Because, like, like ultimately, I, wouldn't, I would be thinking, like, a step ahead of everything. To just be like, okay, like, I don't want to die. So let's check. Let's figure out how to, like, survive this whole zombie apocalypse thing. I've watched too many zombie movies. I've watched too many zombie animes. I've watched too many freaking zombie things or whatever to just know that, like, uh, the Dawn of the Dead, the original one, and the remake. Watched all of them. So ultimately, definitely going to a mall... Uh, that doesn't have zombies in it. Not like Dead Rising. Uh, but, like, yeah. God, Dead Rising. Oh, such a good series. Uh, I sucked at it. I wasn't that great at it. Um, plus Dead Rising 2 was, like, a lot of timing or whatever. Anyways. Uh, the door looks like it's connected to the other building. I apologize for all the tangents and references and whatever, but... I think it's uh, I think it's a good thing to go into all this and just talk about it. Talk about how I felt about all this zombie stuff. What's behind that door? I wish there was a real true zombie survival game where if like you ended up being like dead, like you were dead, uh, and you just turned into a zombie, uh, like that would actually be a cool game. Like it would be a real true zombie survival game, and then if you ended up turning into a zombie like you would have to go and kill your friends like that's just a thing but then you would uh kind of be like the zombie uh and you would kind of usher in the other zombies like yeah i'm gonna have to kill you now because i'm a zombie now um that's the door to the middle school building man would that be a real fun game like if you did like dead rising uh but like if you ended up uh with a group of people if you ended up, like, getting infected, then you're just the zombie now. It sucks to be you because you made poor decisions or you didn't, like, take the best stuff into consideration. God, would that be an amazing game. I wish there was something like that. Uh, Ethan paused for a few seconds and continues talking. We used uh, to stay there. You used to stay there? Uh, with... A lot more people. More people, you say? <laughs> it was quite nice and safe. Was it quite nice and safe? <laughs> we were certain that this place would not be affected. Well, eventually once a zombie gets hungry enough, they'll go anywhere, so... But one day, the zombies somehow made their way into this school... Do I have to keep telling you that I told you so? <laughs> like, you really, in a zombie infectional thing, you really have to make sure that everything is severely bunkered, hunkered down, so there's no way any zombies are going to come for you, because, yeah, um, it happens. It happens. Oh, no. Plus, you don't know how zombies are going to get infected. 
Like, some zombies will turn into, like, super zombies, and then you're, like, effed. Well, I, I think the the super strong zombies, that never made sense to me. Like, you would think that they would be as strong as whoever they were previous. Anyways. Though, those of us who survived the attack ran to the building to hide. Well, good for you, Ethan. You just nodded away the, the zombies, I bet you. You killed them with nods. And after the zombies left, we blocked the door with anything we could find. Like your head? Because, <laughs> obviously, you're doing a bunch of these. You gotta use that head for something. Obviously, we didn't have anything better than those chairs and desks. Well, you you gotta do something. Uh, Shaun of the Dead, they killed zombies with records, bizarrely. Didn't really make quite much sense, but... That's why we patrol... Uh, we're patrolling the area. So that means this floor must be... It's one of the dangerous areas in this building. We don't come down here unless we are on patrol. Aha! So Scarlet took me down... Told me to go down to the cafeteria because it was dangerous. Scarlet, you're dead. You're dead to me. Uh, I guess, uh, I guess we should ha have told you that. Yeah, that would have been a nice thing to let me know if there's a place that I should not go inside these buildings. But I guess considering I am the, uh, the new guy, uh, I guess there's some rules and regulations that you don't think to tell me. Man, in Fight Club, when you get to Fight Club, they tell you the rules right away. But this place, oh, no, no, no. They don't need to tell you. Sh kind of like a lot of jobs when you go into and they just kind of barely tell you anything. And then you just, like, you make a lot of mistakes. And then they tell you later, oh, yeah, you were doing that wrong. Oh, well, <laughs> I didn't know any better. I, I'm sorry, I didn't know. Um... So that means Scarlet set me up. Yeah, I kind of knew that was coming. So we didn't need food, and then we went into the most dangerous place ever to get food. And Scarlet, you're dead. I am going to put a knife into your brain. It's going to happen because <laughs> you are trying to kill me, and I don't like that. She knew I'd be in danger. What a brick. <laughs> gosh, I don't want... Uh, or, gosh, I don't know what to do with her. Uh, I think there's... I think she's going to be a bulletproof shield in our future. <laughs> she's going to be a bulletproof shield in our future. If anything, I'm going to be like... Yeah, Scarlet, w let's consistently go on missions together. So, uh, ultimately, when zombies are coming, I can dropkick you. You fall over, the zombies will make a meal out of you, and then I will run away. <laughs> what took you so long? Yeah, what took me so long in a dangerous place with a dangerous zombie with Ethan and his nodding metal bat? going on here we can't have the, the uh we can't have the meeting all night oh so in other words instead of meeting so she's not going to talk about the the deal that she brokered with me uh plus the other girl is is really evident to is basically our witness to to tell us that Scarlet was having a meeting with with her specifically for something to go somewhere. So yeah, we have. It's not like it's not like we concocted this plan all ourselves. Ethan goes to the corner and leans against one of the desks like he's a baddie. He's a badass. He's a baddie. I look. Uh, I took a deep breath and tried to ignore her, but I'm like, and I'm looking at her. I'm like, you are dead. Mm, you're, you are, mm, you are just. <laughs> mm. 
if I could beat you, <laughs> if I could just beat, I would. I stood next to Judy and let her know nothing is bothering me, even Scarlet. Uh, sorry, uh, what's the meeting for? Uh, and plus, uh, no one told me there was a meeting. Uh, we were talking about night watches. Night watches? Like the movie night watches? Or the, the night watch, the, like, I'm sure there was probably a show called the night watch or something. <laughs> Is that now on Blu-ray and DVD? Night watch? Huh? Night watches? <laughs> Are those, like, really cool watches? Are they, like, there's something to really talk about? Yeah. <laughs> we split into pairs and choose different areas to patrol at night. That, that actually seems like a very smart idea. Like, I think we should always have somebody watching and kind of uh, inspecting the area. Especially if there's, like, a noise that everybody's sleeping and doesn't realize is going on. Maybe the new girl uh, can't handle this yet. Yeah, I'm shaking my boots. I've already almost been attacked by a zombie in the cafeteria. Uh, what do you think? I can do it. I need to get used to my way around here anyways. Yeah, like I went down to the dangerous cafeteria and almost got killed by a zombie because evidently I didn't kill the zombie. I nodded, looking straight into Lawrence's eyes, and I'm like, yeah, Ethan, there you go. That's a good old nod for you. <laughs> it's not, uh, it's not my turn tonight. Where are you guys supposed to cover tonight? The lab at the third floor, the rooftop, and, uh, the schoolyard. Isn't that outside? <laughs> yes, uh, but that'll be a quick look around the building. What's wrong? Are you scared? Yeah, I'm shaking in my boots to really think about when I'm going to just... Mm, you. Um, that's what I'm thinking, Scarlet. Just uh, when can I just mm, eh, eh, psycho you up? I'm going to wait till you are in the shower and you're defenseless. And I'm just going to jump in there and just. <laughs> the zombie I just saw through the window crosses my mind. I'm afraid it's still out there. Even if it's just a quick walk, I'll still have to be outside. It might see me. It might hear me. It might want a piece of that. Scarlet scoffs at my silence. Maybe I should go with Scarlet and just be like, yeah, we're going to go to this section here. And uh, if anything, Scarlet is going to go ahead of me. Uh, I'm going to be like her watch. And then <laughs> zombie is going to come after her. And I'm, and I'm just going to be like, oh, Scarlet, what happened? What happened, Scarlet? You having, you having a good time being somebody's man witch? So what's your pick? Uh, I'll take the schoolyard. I'll take the rooftop. I'll take the lab. Uh, I'm going to take the schoolyard. Because ultimately, uh, I think we got we to gotta go after these zombies. Like, I want to go to a place that the zombies are. Not some place that, like, I feel that I can ultimately 100%... Feel safe. I'll take the lab. I'm gonna take the lab. Let's take the schoolyard. Again, we're the main character. Do you think the main character is gonna wanna, like, you think the writer is gonna want the main character to get killed off? I'll take the schoolyard. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm sure. Guy that sounds like Matthew McConaughey. Uh, somebody has to. Somebody has to do it anyways. Might as well be me. And Scarlet says nothing. Because <laughs> she's like, Wow, you took the probably the most dangerous option. Yeah. Yeah, 
that's that's a thing. Um, I can tell Scarlet's having a hard time thinking of something mean to say to me. Yeah, I was like, what? Are, what? Are, trying to figure out something. Anyways, uh, I can tell Scarlet's having a hard time thinking of something mean to say. That makes me feel good about that decision. Yeah, because ultimately, Scarlet just going and going, ah? Yeah, I shut her up. Uh, don't worry, I'm not, uh, you're not going to be on your own. Well, I guess that's great, because ultimately, if I would have said anything else. And it really is just a quick stroll around the building. That's it. Sure it is. Sure it is, Lawrence. <laughs> Whatever you want to say. Uh, I'm also patrolling the schoolyard uh, tonight. Oh, so in other words, Harry, the guy that I think... Oh, uh, uh, yeah, he's going to go with me, of course. Uh, what what does Harry have as weapons? I'll be on this... Uh, we'll be on the same team, yeah. All right. Uh, Harry gives me a warm smile. Uh, you guys make sure to stay together. Yeah, because otherwise I'm going to realize that this person left and now then, then I'm going to figure out he's going to be a man witch for somebody. Ethan hands a small candy bar to me. Still not the friendliest guy here, but I can tell he cares. <laughs> At least we got that going. Uh, thanks, Ethan. Where, where's his... Where's is, where is his nod? Uh, I'm feeling nervous. Uh, about being... About being outside again. Well, again, we're not gonna... We're not gonna die. The... The, the writer won't kill us off, right? What if we would have chose to go anywhere else but the, the schoolyard? Would... Ultimately, we have been pushed to that decision anyways. Um, I'm kind of curious. Be careful, all right? You're, you're gonna be fine. No, we're gonna be dead. I already know there's a zombie down there, so... Uh, but this time, it's different. I'm not alone anymore. Yeah, we're all not alone. All right, confirm. Uh, I'm going to see if we're ultimately going to have to watch an ad for this. So let me pause here. All right. Uh, I wouldn't mind uh, I wouldn't mind your review. Okay, I'm on it now. No, nah, I'm too lazy. Uh, let's pause. <laughs> I was like, what are we going to have to do? All right, so... Uh, I think that's probably where we're going to leave this off. Uh, just kind of see where ultimately we had, uh, where we're going to go in the next episode. Plus, I don't want to make these uh, episodes way too long uh, and this and that. So, uh, yeah. So, ultimately, we know that uh, Scarlet basically wants us dead. Like, that is as far as she wants to go to let us know that she does not like us. So... Ultimately, we know that we're going to have to make Scarlet a human shield and that ultimately, instead of having her um, be behind us, we want her in front of us. Uh, so that way, if anything happens, it happens to her first. Uh, because ultimately, she is going to, uh, and vice versa, try to use us as a meat shield and kill us off. So... Whatever happens to Scarlet, I'm going to send some violins down her way if ultimately she ends up dying because she's a jerk and deserves it. Because um, ultimately she tried to kill me off because I'm just unaware of things. Um, but again, I think that's also like the other, like the group's fault. Like if ultimately if there was something that they probably felt wasn't secure, like let the new guy know. Um, to ultimately say, hey, if you're ever heading down this area of this, of this thing, hey, yeah, uh, just kind of be aware that, like, this isn't quite secure. Like, there's, there should have been a lot of things they should have told me, 
um, if there's like if they're kind of unsure about some things, uh, or ultimately, instead of having to go all the way out uh, somewhere and randomly like scavenge for things, if they had a con cafeteria lined up to get food, they knew about this. Why not have had they have gone down there and searched that out? Like, slowly but surely, like, uh, get a group of people together, um, get one person with, like, a really long, like, stick, and have it to be where the guy with the stick, like, uh, takes a zombie, like, pushes them back, and another person, like, has the, the guy with the stick kind of push the zombie to a wall, and then the other guy comes in with a knife and just stabs him um, and kills him. And then there you go. Um, do it kind of like uh, John Cop John Carpenter vampire style. Um, do it that way. Pretty smart move. I think so. Um, if you've never seen John Carpenter's vampire, I would say check that out. Like it's a very technical way of, of killing vampires. Um yeah, so anyways, uh, I kind of wish that, like, The Walking Dead would kind of go, like, the John Carpenter vampire route, where there's, like, there's a extremely, like, technically sound way of, like, hey, there might be zombies in this house. Let's put up this contraption, and if a zombie were to, like, uh, be walking out of this house, they would fall into this trap and die, or they would fall into this trap and be subdued, and then all we need to do is just, like, knife them in the head. Um, there's never a lot of prep work going with The Walking Dead. A lot of times it's just kind of like, oh, okay, this mad scramble afterthought thing. Um, there's not a whole lot of, like, trapping going on. There's not a whole lot of, um, like, masterfully, planningfully crafting a lot of times in The Walking Dead series, but... I haven't watched every single episode or I haven't, want, I haven't read every single comic book. So ultimately, like, maybe there's much more complicated things going on in the books than there is anywhere else. So anyways, uh, yeah, long rant to throw out this entire thing, but I'm going to get out of here. Goodbye, everybody. Bye, everybody.